Challenge. Now we're doing something a little different tonight. Chris is at his car doing a live stream. I'm at this creepy house. It's spooky. <laughs> we probably should have walked through first, being that we're both here, but now he's already started the live stream. It's freezing cold, so I'm about to head inside and Is anybody in here? closed look at that when I was here the other night that door was not closed see the biggest fear I have is coming to a place like this and somebody being in here and uh, that bugs me right off the bat so let's walk through and check this out My heart is racing, even though Chris is outside. I don't like this at all. Is anybody in there? Hello? That was on the floor last time. Hello? And I don't remember this chair being against here. Hello, somebody's in here. What the freak? Okay. It says it was there last time. There was a bang in the house. Could be an animal. My pulse is racing. What the hell? Somebody was in here, and I don't know if that's a warning. Okay. I can't tell if anything in here has been moved other than the scissor. It's so comforting to know that Chris is outside. <laughs> Check over here. <clears throat> I don't remember that either. Maybe it was there. Hey, if somebody's in there, I'm taking pictures. That's all I'm doing. Please let yourself be known. What am I doing? This is so 
messed up. Thing wedged against the door. Hello? Okay. What the frick? Okay, I heard that. See, it's hard to tell if there's outside noise coming into the house. I hear Chris talking. where I left it. All right, let me try this one more time. Please tell me, I'm going to randomly open up the Bible. What is it open to? Ezekiel. Okay, now here's the weird thing. This was propped against the door. And the weird thing about it is there's only one way in here, and that's through here. So how would that get propped against the door? I don't believe this to be the case, but... Could there be somebody hiding in here somewhere? Somebody up there? What am I doing? This thing's about to break. I don't think there's anybody up here, folks. I don't think anybody feasibly. I guess somebody could go back down that way. All right, let me get off this dreadful ladder. I have no explanation why that was wedged against the door and that scissor stuck in the other door. And there's a lot of road noise that I hear, so if I'm hearing it, I'm assuming you must be. Ooh, okay. There's bangs in this house. I don't know if it's animals, but... It's like almost eerily quiet. I could hear Chris talking, I could hear bird noise. This is freaking weird in that knife, or that scissor rather. Is that a warning? Are you trying to warn me by putting the scissor in the wall? 
Give me a... Let me give Chris a, Chris a heads up. Let me see what he's doing. Hey, Chris. Yeah, I knew I heard you. Yes. Dude. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Were you just down here at this end? I was down on that end. Dude, check this out. That scissor that was on the floor is What's stuck that? in the door. There was a scissor on the floor. Here, come check it out. The scissor? Yeah. Oh, the, okay, in the back room? All right. All right, guys, so this is a little uncharacteristic, so, but... Chris is on the live. Um, Dude, and that, so see that door right there? That's where I just heard, I, I just picked up this because I, I said I heard something by that back room. That door was shut and there was a, uh, a shovel wedged against it, like if somebody was in there, but there's only one way in and there's nobody in there. So I kind of looked in the attic. Whew. All right, hey, come here, check this out. Bro, look at this. Holy crap. Is that, you know what I think that is? I think that's a warning. Somebody was trying to warn us. Yeah. So well, out here, I, I, it sounds like I hear people talking in the woods, but we've all said we think it's an owl. You know, it might be an owl. Yeah. <laughs> I hope but it's I'm, an owl. Uh -oh. I heard a loud bang yeah. in this house. Did I lose? No, I hope not. Uh -oh. are we, guys, can you, are we good? Can you? Hold on. All right, I'm lagging. Okay, I'm gonna head back out there. All right, hey, wait, listen. Somebody was in this house or something. Like, how does that get wedged? Freaky, right? All right, I'm gonna continue my alone. Okay, man. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry. All right, guys. Oh, I gotta reconnect. All right, the live stream's kind of in and out. Hey, Chris. Oh, he's going. All right, I'm gonna shut him out. Now, this is really weird, so the room with the scissor in the door is scary as heck. But it doesn't feel as bad as this room right over here. This room feels like somebody or something is watching me. There was another bang. I wonder if Chris heard that outside. See, it sounds like, the, it, I, and again, it could be animals up there, but man, that's scary. Whew. <clears throat> All right, guys, so I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna see if I knock, and if something knocks back, just curious, I mean, who knows if it'll work, but uh, it does feel like there's something about this house. Like, obviously somebody's been in here or, or something, I don't, I have no idea, but somebody put the scissors in that door. But is it haunted? That's the question, right? Try knocking. I'm gonna knock. I'm gonna knock and you knock back. Hey, Chris. Dude, I knocked three times and something knocked three times back. Are you okay? Dude, I knocked three times on the wall and something knocked three times back. Holy shit. 
That's awesome. Ooh, guys, I hope the camera picked that up. It should have picked that up. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Let me uh let me set the camera up. Right. I'm gonna sit in this funky chair. Guys, I knocked three times and there was clearly what sounded like three knocks back. I hope the camera picked that up. The thing is I don't think anybody's in the attic. There might be animals up there that could explain some of the little bangs, but that was three knocks. Oh, that's awesome. My heart is pounding out of my chest. That scared me though. <laughs> I have to laugh, that scared the heck out of me. All right, could you come talk to me, show yourself See, I think that we manifest these things. I really do. I believe in the power of your mind. And if you think it, it's going to come to fruition. Yeah, we messed around in videos in the past. But that those three knocks, uh, that's, that's not us messing around. There's nobody here but me and Chris. And Chris is outside live, so... I also feel nauseous here. Oh. I'm not saying that's paranormal, but it's disgusting here. All right, I'm gonna. I'm really curious to try the Necrophonic here. Now, it's just this. It's just an app on a phone. But is it possible? that any spirit activity can communicate through that? I don't know. I know this much. I don't like that. At all. Can you talk to me? I heard you knock. Can you talk? You see Chris out there live. Look, he's out there. Live. You could see him standing over there. Alright. Okay, I don't know if that was road noise, but it did sound like something went like ha ah. ha. This room. There's something about it. There's something about this room. And I left my phone in the car, so I might go. I might go grab it. And I don't like that bullet hole in the window, and this room's got me all kinds of bothered. Maybe I won't do the necrophonic tonight, I don't know. I don't want to not be in here and do my full 30 minutes.
See to me, that's a warning. So it could be a person who's homeless who may live here. It's kind of trying to scare us off. I mean, that's a possibility. But it doesn't look like, as far as I can tell, anything but the scissors has been moved. It sounded like a whisper. Maybe it's Chris. Because <laughs> I'm literally feeling like I'm going to throw up. It's could be the fact that I'm in a dirty, creepy, disgusting place. If you put your earbuds on, again, it, this car is passing by, but I keep hearing what sounds like something going, ha ha ha. And it seems like it's coming from here. Was that? Hello? All right. This is how on edge I am in this place. Like okay, my foot just hit that and it scared me. Now when Stacy and I were here, somebody peered in this window at us and we didn't even know it when we were filming. So overall it's been pretty quiet. I'm wondering like sometimes like when I make these videos I'll put my earbuds on and listen. Guys if you hear or see anything let me know in the comments. I don't like that at all. See this is why it's good not to have somebody waiting outside. So you definitely heard what it sounded like a voice. Whew. Hey bud. Hey buddy. Are you still in your life? Yeah. So here's the thing. Alright, let me uh I hope I hope I don't lose people here. So have I been in here thirty minutes? I think so. I think it was, yeah, close to it, that's for dang sure. Alright, so I'm going to wrap this up. Chris is going to go do his video. He's still on the live right here, so... And you're going to have to click on <clears> yours. Your you know phone. what I'm going to do is tell him to sign off and I'll, I'll just go and... Because and, I want to put on another jacket and stuff before I yeah. go on. Yeah.
All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up. 30 minutes, this place is scary, spooky. Scissors in the door, that door was closed. Not a good scenario, guys. I do not recommend anybody doing this. Ghost hunting, not ghost hunting. These places can be, well, they can be pretty bad if you're not careful, so. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm having a blast in these videos. Um, one of the things about the videos, it's always about doing it because it's fun to do, it's scary, it's creepy, but at the end of the day, this is not the most important thing. It's just having fun, enjoying, guys. Love and peace. Good night.